Hello Total War Gamers, my name is Deacon and welcome back to our United Provinces campaign. This is Empire Total War Unmodded. We're playing uh, with, as I said, United Provinces, which is Holland, which is the Netherlands, and we are at war with France. Not yet with Spain, not yet with New Spain. Of course we are also at war with the Barbary Pirates and uh, the Pirates. So, we've just beaten back one army of Frenchies in one of the previous turns and uh, for some reason we are retraining just a little bit but nothing too fast and we are also recruiting so let's recruit up a little bit more do we have an army yet yes we do so we are gonna ferry across some of our naval units uh, infantry units by using our naval forces to do that. I think we've jumped into turn 11 somewhere halfway the turn and I can't see if any uh, enemy French naval forces are approaching, approaching from New Orleans because they might eventually send over a fleet or from up here. I've seen that happen. But um, we need to conquer this for multiple reasons because it's very rich and we are now being offered an opportunity to catch them where there was no such opportunity before. Oh, and we are uh, blocking their port but there's no real use for it. So I'm just going to sit inside this French port here. Oh, there's a, another sloop over there. Anyway, I'm going to go there. Let's review our trade theaters. Here's a Spanish fleet that we are at peace with. And they have been fighting off the Portuguese, giving us an opportunity to take over another trade node here. However, we have lost a trade node to um, Persia over here that we are at peace with and one to um, what's their name the the, the, the Mughals that who are over Ready, there Captain. they are here the Mughal boy and um, so it's going to be interesting to send over some of our ships for repairs so let's do so send them over to Curacao no, Sri Lanka, no, yeah, Sri Lanka. And we'll take this Quebec and keep this pot occupied. Here then, we are owning 100% of all the trade nodes, bringing in monies. So we are dominating in all the trade theaters. We have no fleets over here, nor over there. So uh, I like to Hmm. Patrol this coast with free vessels, but right now we do not have the money. Ah, we might have the money, I don't know. Uh, we have a small army here. How are we doing money-wise? We're bringing in about 2,900 per turn. Which is enough, but not crazy much. So what to do? We were at war. We, we still are at war with France here. So we're going to try and um, raid the coastal ports. There, there's another port in here that they can use to produce. Somewhere over here is it? Yeah. There's a French port over there. They can use to train brigs and sloops and so on but I'm not too afraid of that um, then infantry wise we are allied to Hanover and allied to Westphalia so in that respect we're kind of covered we've got forces occupying the port and we've got a fleet occupying the port so that is all good however the Spanish here are oh, we're still at peace with them it's not going to last for long, so they're going to declare war sooner or later, and then we better be ready. 
and we have a force here that can intervene and help defend the port but with, with the kind of force that they are bringing here although it's mostly colonial troops provincial troops in militia um, not to uh, not to 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 I have of course a garrison here to defend my capital but I think we'll need more uh, line infantry so let's train line infantry we have how many units of horse one two three and provincial cavalry is four should be enough and they can bring more than that but that's they they have one two three four five six units of horse but we should have if we have yeah square formation developed and that will uh, greatly help us to uh, reduce them to rubble to nothing nothingness we're going for the classical university here in five turns which is a very bit fast and then we're training some of the agricultural stuff you know just stuff okay so let's build up uh, a, a wee bit of our economy over here and I, I bet we have some trade vessels underway but just to say I'm not sure um, everything is gonna be all right once yeah we have got some training underway it's gonna be all right once we conquer uh, French Guiana And the, 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 I think the AI cheats here in terms of how fast they can recruit, how much. However, we have another settlement here that we're also using to recruit, so should be fine. So without further ado, let's jump into the next turn before after we've reviewed our ministers, which are all awesome, wonderful. Here we go. It's been a while since I played this um, campaign because. What happened? Warhammer 2 came out, then Mortal Empires came out, I've done some arena and my 6th trade is now gonna sell off these two little units here. Yeah, overwrite that file and attack. We're gonna demask them. This is such a wonderful thing you can actually do in uh, Empire. Demask ships, because the range of chain shot is the same as round shot. So I can just um, use my sailing skills to my advantage, get ahead of them, uh, exchange bows and broadsides, going left and right and back and forth and I'm just gonna... So I'm gonna deploy a little bit to the right here to have some wind and then sail towards them. It's a little bit foggy but we'll manage. And now I'm gonna triple speed, or double speed, what is it? This is double, this is... I don't know. So switch to chain shot and then look at them approaching us. So we're gonna sail with the wind and he's not gonna have uh, his guns trained on me but I will have my guns trained on him. His, his sh vessel, his ship is the faster one but once I shoot a couple of holes into his tiny little mast and sail then you'll have to slow down and I'm just I'm just staying out of his uh, fields of fire so already he's been reduced quite a bit if you the, the sloop behind him has to slow down uh, and I'm just gonna pick his uh, sails apart a little while longer until the sloop is gonna say okay now I've had enough uh, no more no more no longer then the sloop is gonna try and overtake the, the brig and once that happens uh, you're gonna see how fast they actually are because already they are uh, greatly reduced in terms of speed boom now one more shot and I think you'll break them off now there here comes the sloop as I said and now we're gonna zigzag so I'm gonna this is one volley I really need full effect from Kaboom! If these first volleys uh, land particularly well, then they're they're losing maneuverability as well as speed, 
and as you can see he's already uh, even with uh, with half wind this loop is having a hard time to <laughs> just pursue us so two more volleys and then they're so reduced that I can actually uh, sit still and just keep gunning them down up there go their sails So what I can do is approach them with my uh, uh, grape shots and then fire grape shot into them and that should make them route pretty much completely very fast or just do some round shots see how they like that boom no one more shot one more shot it has surrendered so now uh, it's no longer in the way for the brig, so we're gonna have to demast the brig. Two shots, I reckon. Uh, there goes one mast number one. Last mast to take down. Number two, still standing, however. Gonna go in, give them some grape shot. And it's wavering now. Boom surrendered so we've conquered to but we're down to 28 guns i don't know when i lost some i don't think we've uh, been down uh, they didn't give us a single volley i don't think anyway i'm gonna take the prize money blub, 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 blub. there you go and i don't know what we have in amsterdam port I mean, with, with 28 guns, I can still take on a 5th rate and a Galleon. But it's going to be tricky. So I want to retrain these... Uh, this I want to retrain that 6th rate up, back up to 32 guns. If possible. I'll have to see. Building in Paramaribo. Yay! Trade route trade it. Uh, you can have it. And uh, I think we're done recruiting in Curacao, are we? Yeah. So I'm not going to empty it altogether. But I am going to put uh, two of my units aboard the Navy. And there we go. So I'm going to have to deploy here. And then Order. this ship is gonna come join the aye navy, aye. and the uh, six rate will move aye back aye. just a tiny bit. And I'm going to drop these guys. All right, let's just sail into port. Into port. Exit. And into the town. Marchieren. So now we, our army is, has been beefed up quite a bit. Can we still move out? Yes, we can move out quite a bit. They've got troops. So do we. Um, hmm. So I'm going to move them this way. Camp Opsland. Um, no, I'm not going to upgrade this yet. I, I want to make sure we have the revenue for it first. So we need our fleet to come back here and jump into this port. Lest the pirates train any more vessels. That's what we're trying to prevent here. And... Um, one of our fleets has arrived where? Here. Oh, this is the, the retraining effort. So let's go here. And I do want to enforce control over this area. So we're also going to need money, but rest is equally important so research is proceeding we're gonna train some line and that's that 
change plan. What can we train in one turn? Mounted tribal auxiliary with missiles, missile cap. Hopefully they have uh, good enough movement so that we can use them in the battle that's gonna develop once we just just can't take that. Just too far away. Having one, two, three more uh, ships here would be interesting. And I don't know what uh, the, the new Spanish Navy is doing. Fifth rate, brig, sloop. Two galleons. So the, uh, once Spain declares war on us, uh, this little <laughs> six rate here is going to face quite the challenge. Netherlands. So our two new line infantry units are going to come here uh, in case Spain gets any ideas, which it appears to be getting in terms of what they're recruiting now. Not so funny. And I'm all out of money. How are we doing cash-wise? We are shrinking. So we really need to conquer uh, French Guiana. That's it, basically. Once and if we get this, most troubles are over with. However, as much as I like to develop this here, there are a couple of things that can wait. I will spend this money, but for the rest I'm gonna develop two more units of line infantry here. And wait for our friendlies in the Americas to do their job. Yeah. We have how many units? One, two, three, four, five, ten, eleven. Which is seven, eight plus one, two garrison troops. Two. We should be able to take them on. However, these native bowmen can be quite uh, nasty. And also, this is at very hard, so they get a lot of buffs. We can bring the same troops and we get debuffs. That is very hard. Ouch. This is a navy that came from where? Hmm, let me think. Where the hell did this? This is a Mediterranean fleet, it appears, if you look at uh, the conquests. The light galleys, but they have forward shooting quite powerful guns. They have um, six straight as admiral, which is interesting, and then a fifth rate, two more six rates. And I can take on this whole fleet with one. Fifth rate only. But my, f my flute, I don't think can do this. Never been able to. At least I'm going to save the game. Uh, yep, there you go. And then withdraw. And withdraw here as well. Should, should help them lose all their moving points. So they've now captured one of these trade nodes. But I, I don't think. Mm. Let's see if Great Britain wants to go at war, to war with them. So Westphalia will have to get an alliance again. And now we're also at war with New Spain. And our sixth rate is out there. But strong enough. But I need more fifth rates. One fifth rate in this theater and I'm gonna break the French down. That's all it takes, but I do not have anything close. 
The plug bayonet has been researched. We've constructed farms and now this army is almost up there with us. But not yet. They refuse, refuse to surrender. So I'm gonna shift my army over here. And that kind of works, so if they sally, then uh, we'll be fine. Now, um, we've gained one ancillary. We've recruited India men. But I first need to review. This Spanish fleet is now at war with us. It has a galleon and a brig. And we have here a fleet. Yeah. So we are up for some very challenging fights however nothing i cannot win as long as Orders. i have a fifth rate in the area and the crappy thing is my fifth rate is tied up in here right now Vest westphalia destroyed what oh prussia has done that and how are we doing at the diplomacy front with Prussia? I think we're trading with them, aren't we? Yep. But we are... They're unfriendly with us. Open negotiations. How about... They are allies with no one. Oh, but they are enemy of Great Britain, who is our loyal ally. So we cannot uh, recreate an alliance with them. <laughs> okay. So we've gone from uh, bordering an ally to bordering um, Russia won't trade with us. Then maybe Denmark will. New Spain, we're are we are not at war with New Spain? Huh? This is very strange. I've never, never, never seen that happen. Anyway, I'd, I'd probably sooner trade with Denmark. No, okay. Uh, Russia then. You may be... Uh, Let's give you 20 turns of military access and seasoning. No! I don't care about the spinning jenny. I, I want a uh, trade agreement with you. No! Counter offer. Go away with all this. Give me a trade agreement. I'll give you 20 turns of military access. And do I have money? Yeah, but nothing special. Um, tech. I'll give you the plug bayonet and the seasoning just for a trade agreement. Okay. You get a plug bayonet. Kill your enemies, ally with me. I'm not so um, very... My... my wee wee wee. Now I hope Prussia doesn't get any ideas about attacking me. We are allied to Hanover, so they may... Uh, if I were Prussia, <laughs> I would want to control that. And then this and then that, so yeah. Better keep your thumbs up for Deakin, because this is the British Navy. Well, I'm going to pull in my uh, sixth rate here Orders. and uh, repair my guns. So there, this shipyard here is broken, here is no building, here is a port, a trading port, and here I have a fifth rate, but do I really need it here? No, not so much. I'm gonna free up this fifth rate, leave the defense of the channel to my sixth rate, and the English, and this one is gonna go into the East Indies. kind of a mad choice. I really miss the 
the, the fifth rate that I used to have uh, whilst still controlling uh, whilst, whilst taking the one of those trade theaters hey brig let's exchange this brig into here so now we have a flute and a brig and an indiaman with only 12 guns which is nothing but okay Navy, France, at war. Yeah, they have escaped from somewhere. Now our galleon. I don't really like it for battle very much. A galleon is. Hey, Admiral's flagship. It is going to go there though. And this one I am going to repair. Ah, and then our money is spent. Oh yes, we are at war here. Doing what? I don't know. So are we at, we are at peace with New Spain? This is unheard of. I've never seen this happen. That uh, Spain would actually go to war with me. And New Spain would not. This is, however, a Spanish galleon, which is free. Okay. So you go into the French port and then into the pirate port. And the sixth straight is gonna have to pick up that galleon over there. Um, so we're, we are going to do that. And we are sieging. This army here, they get two units of fire locks. And I'm gonna wait them to Sally out. Um, we have research to set because we we are now researching carbines. But what does that do? It enables recruitment of colonial dragoons, light dragoons, and dragoons. Oh, that is very useful. So we're gonna keep that. Um, I'm gonna keep this. So that's all just fine. Just we're not doing any research on navy. This one is gonna go there. Kill it. And we have something to we our flute is gonna fight this navy. Keep the galleon. Uh, sell the brig. Nothing's happening here. I don't here's that. What's there? Something is there. Forgot which. Oh yeah, the, the Persian navy. So we are guarding this territory with just a six rate right now. Our defenses are rather thin. We have flute defending here and a fifth rate, which is overkill, but it's all right. So the galleon is going to defend this. We have two fifth rates on their way to deal with the French fleet here. Well, whilst I think one is actually enough, so maybe I should not have sent this one over. But then again, uh, I, I do not really feel like venturing out all this way to take these ships. And there's in between us and them, there is the Royal Navy. Which has like these awesome sloops and brigs and destroyed fifth rates and fourth rates. I don't know. I still have a sixth rate though, and I can do a lot with that. And um, we are at war with France and Spain now, and we have the Prussians, the Prussians uh, at our doorstep, and I can beat one two stacks with this army. Uh, but after that, we're going to be very weak. So things are tense. And if you like to see this campaign continued, I haven't had a lot of time. I've been doing Warhammer and other stuff. Uh, also, I started this before I went to the hospital for a very large operation on my leg. And I'm still recovering. I'm in a wheelchair and etc, etc. So there's a good reason and explanation why uh, it hasn't been proceeding very fast. So if you like this one... Um, subscribe to my channel 
leave tons of likes on this video and I'm gonna continue playing through with it. See you next time.